Mitchell, thanks a lot. CBS 42 News is your local election headquarters. On June 5th, Alabama voters will head to the polls to make decisions in the primary election. Democrats running for governor in a crowded field. Who's going to emerge out of that group? One of the candidates hoping to do so is with us this morning. I'd like to welcome Democratic candidate Chris Countryman to the Thank CBS 42 Morning News. You were the first gubernatorial candidate to announce that you were running, saying that you, it was a new day in Alabama. Right. How so? Well, we've gotten to the point where citizens are looking at, you know, the, their fellow citizens for an answer. Um, they're getting tired of the, I guess you could say, establishment doing the same thing and over and over again. So as the citizens turn to one another, they're looking at politics, you know, totally differently than had before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so it's basically got to the point where you had to stand up and, you know, act on your on your convictions. With that conviction, you said that told voters that you would give them their state back. Who took the state? and how can you give it back? I feel like in the past 20 years, um, a lot of the uh, establishment politicians um, ran by the GOP, but there's been, you know, Democrats, which have been guilty too, uh, have been involved in scandal after scandal, uh, taking taxpayer dollars to fund, you know, various uh, illegal activities and, uh, you know, just basically misusing, you know, taxpayers' uh, trust and taxpayers', you know, dollars. and. Uh, that's what I, you know, mean by you know taking taking the state from the citizens is it's it's not in the citizens' hands anymore. And you're also known as a marriage equality activist. What's the motivation behind that, and how's that playing out in the campaign? Uh, well, because when you look at everything, you know, on a core level, uh, everybody should be treated equally, you know, regardless of you know who they are or uh, who they love or you know who they choose to spend their life with, and so. I felt that it was uh, the right thing to do to just stand up for those who uh, needed somebody to be there and do the right thing. Quite different from Roy Moore's campaign. <laughs> yes, very different. Uh, we had a couple of dealings with him and, you know, we dealt with it in stride and got past it. Yeah. Key issues for you for, for voters in Alabama for governor? Well, number one, uh, we need to get the budget under control. 95% uh, of our problems stem from the not having a budget that's adequate to fund all the departments. Then education, job creation, and the infrastructure. All those can be accomplished easily by restructuring our budget and by focusing basically plans to replenish the infrastructure uh, accordingly. Yeah, I'd like to give people an opportunity to quickly help an undecided voter make a decision why they should vote for you. Make your case. Well, the biggest thing is uh, I've been in politics, you know, other than from behind the scenes like every other citizen, and I'm not one of those ones that can be bought. Uh, I'm very, very uh, keen on being a man of integrity, uh, somebody that people can trust, and somebody who actually enjoys, you know, talking to the people. I like getting those phone calls at 2, 3 a.m., uh, asking me questions and uh, being able to help a citizen out. I'm not like the other politicians who just uh, are in it for themselves. I'm in it for the people. All right, keep that in mind when we call you at 2.30 or 3 o'clock. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> All right, Chris Countryman, a Democratic candidate for governor, thanks so much for stopping by. Yes, we appreciate sir. it.